Vigo in Galicia has the best of both worlds. It's probably got the best meat in Spain, but it most definitely has the best shellfish in Spain. It's a fishing port, not so much a tourist destination, but it's a gastronaut's paradise. I'm here today to try the shellfish. Let's go and try it. I'm really looking forward to this. It's been recommended to me, and if the previous shells I've had here are anything to go by, this is going to be a great experience. so easy to get a table tonight so um, having trolled around the square I found somewhere they didn't have carve by the glass but Alberino is a good substitute and of course it's translated into English so I'll probably go have shellfish something really interesting on the menu here, filled lamprey. Guess I'll have to go for it then. So we've gone for shellfish again. They didn't have the lamprey, apparently it's a winter fish. So instead we're having a very scallopy evening. Baby scallops, full scallops and mussels in vinegar. Well, I ordered a green salad and a pretty decent portions come and because of the health regulations I'm going to be dressing it myself but the sherry vinegar and local olive oil should dress it rather nicely and mussels in vinaigrette that's the best way in my opinion to order mussels in Spain I suppose everybody's got their own favourite but that's mine so here we go let's check the mussels out mm. beautiful and some of you familiar with Spanish stuff should uh, recognise the dressing on top. It's a slightly vinegary version of sal picon, the seafood salad. So chopped tomatoes, peppers, onions and a bit of vinegar. They had sal picon here but I thought, well, they have that all over Spain. Why not go for the mussels? I nearly forgot, this is my first tomato since being back in Spain. First of many. Let's hope it's uh, up to standard. Oh. Always order tomatoes in Spain. They really are in a different league. No more messing about, ordering by the glass. They had half bottles, so that's perfect for me. And of course, if you're in this area, it has to be Almeria. Cheers, here's to a great dinner. And now something pretty good has just arrived. Feast your eyes on these bad boys. Zambarinas, baby scallops. That lemon is going to be slapped all over them. I'd better get on with finishing these mussels because I'm itching to get stuck into those zambarinas. So another quick slurp before we go on to those zambarinas. And don't forget, in Spain, you can never go wrong with an albarino. If in doubt, always go for one. It actually means white rind, so it's a bit like a dry Riesling. Okay. Oh, yeah. I've been missing these for eight months. They have a slightly more delicate flavour than the big scallops, but boil flavour, so you don't need much with them. A bit of lemon, a bit of olive oil, and... Robert's your uncle. I do believe they also land all the um, seafood around here. Not all of it, but a lot of it. So uh, probably why it's so good. And it most certainly is not your standard tourist destination. But Vigo is a gastronaut's destination. 
do like your food, get yourself over here. Come to Daddy. I'm in a seafood paradise here. Okay, and this is the last thing I've ordered tonight. Some large scallops in described as in the source of King Juan Carlos, I think, whatever that means. But uh, we're going to find out. I have to say, I'm not actually sure what that is. I'm going to have to look it up. It, um, there's a lot of garlic in there. Maybe a sweet potato puree? But it is pretty tasty with the red pepper on top. And of course, the big cheese here is the scallop itself. So let's see how that is. Of course, we'd better take another quick slurp before we do. And here we have the scallop itself. Now, if it's anything like everything else I've had so far, wow, am I in for a treat. It's pretty good. The way it's presented and served is pretty good. But I actually prefer the Samburinias. This, this is not to say that this is at all bad. It is very good. It's probably a bit more filling than uh, the other things I've had, but that slightly more delicate flavour from the Zamburinas does it for me. But don't let me put you off having this because this is really tasty as well. Again, the scallop is not hard or rubbery, it's fresh, it's tasty. And this is also a very safe place. And I, I mean, Galicia is a very quiet part of Spain. I've never felt worried about myself, my camera equipment, and it's a very nicely appointed dining room. Very typical Spanish furniture, or at least Spanish restaurant furniture. Okay, forgive me viewers, for I have sinned. And um, we have here a typical dessert of the area called Tata de Santiago, which is an almond cake. I've seen people eating this all around the city. I shouldn't be eating it but I am going to do so. So here we have the guilty party. Now I'm not actually that big a sweets man, I just wanted to try whatever the local dessert was. So the portion sizes were about right and maybe a confession with the Cardinal Mendoza will be uh, right on the money after this. Now after I was sinful viewers having a dessert it is time for confession with the Cardinal. But uh, I will feel better after my confession. Uh, as always, before taking confession with the Cardinal, uh, we have to give a report on the coffee, and that rich, dark crema looks really, really good to me. Deep, strong, bitter flavours. Wow, I like that. So, the bill has arrived, and for what I had, prime quality seafood and a lot of alcohol it's actually not bad at all. I think in the UK you'd pay a lot more than this for what I've had. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I left a tip because the waiter was very good, didn't mind me filming. It turned out to be a slightly heavier evening than I had expected, but it was a great meal, a really great meal. Keep following me, we'll have more content for you in Galicia and all over Spain and other parts of Europe I visited this summer. And don't forget, you can't beat a bit of mutton.